Hello and welcome back to Boo Polo channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to do a short review on a Java Press a coffee grinder, a manual coffee grinder. Uh, this is uh, one of the best selling ones uh, in the US uh, because it's a budget. It's, it's, a, it's a budget. Uh, it's got its limitations, but uh, if for making most things you can you can you can grind it it has 18 settings which would be comparable to some of the electric ones but at the same time a, a, a connoisseur of espresso probably would not be good enough for them but i will go, go on and i will do some grinding i will put some coffee in it and i will i will show you the various settings and what what the texture of the coffee is like at each setting so it's a, anyway it's a very simple unit you take the top off here you take the cover off now lots of people because this is going to be slower than your expensive one people put their uh, drill on the end of this now um, I don't uh, I'm not going to recommend or not recommend but most pe a lot of people do they put the drill on this because if you are doing espresso it takes a long long time to do 18 compared to like easy easy presso but this easy presso is uh, eight times the price of this so you cannot really compare one to the other in that in that sense so the top comes off and uh, the coffee goes in and there is no obstruction uh, like with some of them there's no uh, bar going across uh, you can take off the bottom here and you can you can actually take off the you can take the burr out it doesn't tell you that but i didn't see that but you can take the burr out there's ceramic burr uh, I've used this a few times. I have made an espresso with this. I will tell you in a few minutes how I made an espresso with this. So as you see, there, the, the burr is uh, ceramic. And it's dirty now. But anyway, I didn't clean it for the video for you. When you're putting it back in, there's a little notch in it here uh, that goes with the bolt there. So make sure you get the bolt back in. And then we get it back on spring. When you're tightening it up, you need to have uh, you need to stop the this one going around. You can use it. I can stop it with my finger there, but it's easier to do it this way. Now it says on the instructions not to put this in reverse. Okay. Now when it's tightened the whole way, which it is now, don't grind it on that, and go back. So. What did I do the first time? I'm going to put coffee into it. There is a window in it. I, I don't see the purpose of the window myself. Uh, it gets a bit of coffee, gets caught up here in the top, a little bit, especially if it's espresso. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start grinding for you. I will weigh it up. I'm, I'm not going to waste a lot of coffee just to do it, but I will do it at various grind settings and I'll do it on a white plate. I am not going to do a lot at the finer settings. I'm going to do it at, a lot of people will buy this for, for pour over so uh, pour over and maybe for French press it it it, it grinds perfectly for French press so that's 16 okay that's what I use for a duplia uh, we just put our top on top of it like this and uh, we have 15 grams in this now as I said earlier, I made espresso in this. Now, I'm big into espresso, and I have, uh, I have a, a dedica here, and uh, it comes with what's called a pressurized, uh, it comes with a pressurized filter with two different sizes. And, but I have upgraded it to a bottomless. Now, bottomless, you have to be much, it's not so forgiving, and you need it finer. I, it's, I found it not fine enough for the bottomless on the lowest setting. So, but on this one, I got a really nice espresso with this one, right? On the, on the, the pressurized filter at setting number one. And I moved it from one notch. And one notch, I didn't find it fine enough, but fine enough for, the, for this one. And two notches even work on this one. 11, 12, 13, 14. Now that that is a very, that should be very coarse, and we will grind. Now that is too coarse for most things, right? So that setting is not going to be used. Very, you can use that. Some people like the French press; they like it really, really like this. Me, no, I make used French press. I use it more of a medium. I'll come out to number six. 
So we'll do number six. I think number six is good for this, okay? You can think or pour over even now. The grains are fairly good. I will do it in this and do a, quite a bit of it for you so you can have a good look at it. Now, we'll see what that would be like. But you can use the drill on it and many people use the drill on it. And now, let's have a look at that. Now, I'll try and spread it out. Number six for me is uh, the way I like it in my French press. And number six is probably good enough, uh, near enough for pour overs, okay? Now, I'm going to do number eight. And number eight, so I think between six and number eight will be good for your pour overs. And we will, we will, we will do it in this again. It's much quicker if I do it like this than trying to hold one part, so. So now we have uh, ground up a bit there in number eight. Let's see. Mm, it's, yeah, it, it looks good. Yeah. Now, number eight is a little bit coarser. And you can actually see that it's a little bit coarser. We were eight the last time. So this one, in theory, should be much faster. So I'm bringing it back to number 10 now. This is number 10. Uh, yeah, so that's in between them. 6, 8, 10, and 16. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind it at number 2 for you. So 1 and 2 will work in the port to filter the pressurized one. This is going to take, I'm going to do this for about uh, 25 seconds. Wow. So now let's see what we have. So uh, this is at number, number setting number two, and yeah, that's fine. That is, uh, uh, as with all uh, stainless steel one, there is a little bit of uh, static, the same with the expensive one, so I just do that. And uh, then the coffee usually comes out, but you can give it a little tap like that. Now, so there's your number two, which is uh, second from finest. And that is, it's nearly powder. It's not powder, but uh, no, no. but if you are a casual one and you're making pour overs and you're making French press and the odd espresso, this is a, this work, this does the job. I'm after proving it, done it here with the powder here. And uh, it's just not, a, it, this would be like what you'd buy in the shop when they call it espresso. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video or any of our other videos, uh, please subscribe. I will put a link on the bottom where you can buy this on Amazon.